Hi my lovelies, so welcome back to my channel and for everybody who is new I'm Leora and I'm so glad you found me. So welcome to today's video which is going to be a wrapping tutorial for this wrap and I'm going to call this the For My Beloved wrap because I'm going to dedicate this to my husband. Okay, I'm not going to go into details just out of love and devotion. I'm going to dedicate this to my husband. Okay, sweeties, we are going to use two spectacular scarves here. I'm going to show you in just a second in the tutorial part and we're going to use the bobo shaper which we haven't done in quite some time and also of course as always these wrapping tutorials are in collaboration with Rapunzel who has provided everything you're seeing here that is wrapping related in the video. Me doing a tutorial on this wrap has actually been quite requested because basically all the latest pictures that I have been posting on the Facebook group of Rapunzel have been this wrap because now that I'm doing only two tutorials per month that are wrapping related I kind of feel like now I have the time to actually play with the wrap and sort of develop it and also practice it because you know if I just do it once and then film a tutorial I just forget you know so that is the one thing also I just love to use the the techniques that I know and you know that about me it's just something that absolutely makes sense in my life and I'm just trying to apply things in a new way but still using the things I know so if you're curious then please go on and watch the tutorial and of course if you new here and you have no idea what I'm talking about, I do every two weeks a one tutorial that is wrapping related or something that is wrapping related. It doesn't need to be a tutorial necessarily and that's what I'm doing here because it is such a big part of my life, of how I'm living my creativity, how, how I do my styling and also of course how I live my religious life. So that is what I'm doing here. So with all of that being said, I do hope that you will enjoy the tutorial and you'll find it really helpful. So without further ado, let's go right into it. Okay, sweeties, I am going to wear the new Bobo Shaper that has just recently launched from Rapunzel. And of course, I'm sort of dragging it around here, around my head. This is special if, in case you don't know, because this is open in the back. So uh, that is what you get. And it sort of creates a lot of height in the, in the wrap, you know, and it's really, really comfortable to wear. So this is what I do. I just cross it over in the back. Just have to release my ear a little bit. Well, I always have my ears inside the wrap because I find it more comfortable. It's if it presses down too much, it's it's too much, you know? So anyway, and with this shaper also, what is very, very special is that you can actually always just adjust the, the tightness that you need in order for not to slip and to still be comfortable. And with a lot of other shapers, you cannot do that because, you know, you have the, uh, the elastic, but that is all you have. And sometimes, you know, because we have different shaped heads, and different size heads it's it's a little bit hard to say if this is going to be good for you or not so with this one you're always safe okay so just saying okay so let me just tighten this around my head and uh, I think everybody has their own way of wrapping this and getting this tight what I do is I just put it up here basically where the the this starts you know the back part of the shaper and I'm just going to tie a knot not like super tight or anything, just so it sits somewhere and then I'm just pushing these the ends in somewhere, you know? That's all I do basically. All right, let me just get this straight here. All right, so and now that we have this on, we can start with the wrap. Okay, first of all, I think I'm going to start with the cranberry in red. And I'm so living the life of the pashminas right now, like really. <laughs> so good anyway uh, this is what she looks like it's beautiful it comes in a lot of different colors and this is the red one and it's it's so insanely beautiful so uh, these berry tones sign me up <laughs> berry tones is amazing like right off the green and blue and purple and <laughs> You know okay I'm living for colors as you all know so there is no surprise here okay so sweeties this wrap is going to be closed in the back this might be also possible probably if you want to have this open feature you might want to figure out how to do this open it's possible I'm sure all right sweeties uh, I'm going to just uh, fold it in a tiny little bit and then I'm going to wrap it from the top down I'm always getting stuck in my decoration here. <laughs> okay, so let's just wrap this from the top down. Like this. 
Okay, now you can do this uh, different ways. You can do it without tying a knot in the back and that is the version that I'm going to show. You can also do it with tying a knot in the back, okay? I kind of want this to be a little bit further towards the back because I personally like it to have a little bit more of my hair showing. So I'm just going to fold this, one second, I'm just going to fold this over just like that. It's not going to show under the wrap, so um, that's what I'm doing like this okay now I'm just going to cross over behind my head like this and I'm going to leave it like this for now okay so you can already see we have a nice height here like really really nice okay for now this is going to be loose okay so don't be surprised it's going to feel a little bit wiggly woggly for a while but trust me it's gonna work itself out okay so now for the second scarf I'm going to use the million dreams scarf in blue this is how it looks tassels <laughs> that's another thing I'm living for tassels and of course a super wild pattern which is <laughs> yeah it's my thing I love a lot you know it's because I just can't <laughs> All right, so I'm going to just crunch this up a little bit. You can also fold it nicely, whatever you want. And I'm going to place it from the top down, okay? Like this, of course, so we can still see some of the cranberry or whichever scarf you're using. And I'm also going to cross this over behind my head like this and now we have all of this sitting here. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take one end of the Million Dream scarf and one end of the cranberry, okay? So let me just fold the cranberry in a little bit so it looks neat because we have, of course, this one side that is not the red, but I want the red, okay? So I'm just going to fold, fold it in like this a little bit. And then I'm going to bring both of those up towards the middle and I'm going to tie a knot like this. Okay, and now, now is the point where basically the, the wrap gets the, um, the strength back, okay? Because now we're going to take the other two and now I'm just going to give it a slight tug so all of this sort of straightens out and, and gets a little bit tighter around the head, okay? Let me just put this here in the middle so I can see what I'm doing or not. <laughs> so I'm going to just give it a slight tug and I'm going to bring it up behind what we just did and I'm going to tie another knot here. All right, now we have this, basically one end of each scarf is on each side. Here we have those two, and here we have those two, okay? So now I'm going to sort this out. <laughs> I'm going to, first of all, bring this scarf here, which is in my case the Million Dreams scarf, that comes out to the front of the, this, the knot that is the behind knot. <laughs> You know, the one to the back. And I'm going to bring this over to this side and tuck it away. And again, sweeties, I just love to use techniques that I know. You know, it makes a lot of sense in my life. All right, so, and then I'm going to bring the other one over to this side. I'm just gonna open it up a little bit. You can totally play with this and see what makes sense for you, um, what you wanna feature and all of these things. But anyway, so let me just pull this out to get a little bit more volume also. Okay, and I'm just going to sort of tug it away wherever I can find room, okay? Now, what I'm doing is I'm taking this one again. This is again the one that comes out to the front, towards the front in the first knot that is towards the front, okay? So that one I'm also throwing over here. And the reason why I'm doing this and not the other way around is if you do it like this and like this, then you have in the end a very long streak here that sort of dominates the whole thing. And I didn't like that. But if you do it like this, if you take this one first and tuck it away, like here, then this one breaks up this long streak. You know what I mean? If I cross over with this one now it breaks up it breaks up this long streak of scarf you know or of one single color that would in the end sit on top of your wrap and I think you can of course disagree with me but I think that is not so flattering okay so anyway and I'm going to tuck this away too and 
and this is how it looks. I have done this look using my Wendy Shaper. This is today the first time I'm using the Bobo Shaper for this. Um, I kind of like it probably a little bit more with the Wendy Shaper because the Wendy Shaper gives me um, it is a little bit more streamlined, I would say, when I'm using my Wendy Shaper. But uh, that is, of course, all a matter of taste. Uh, because here it goes out, um, it goes out to the sides a little bit more. When I'm using my Wendy Shaper, the sides are pretty flat and I only have the height. But that depends on what you like. I just wanted to also feature the Bobo Shaper again because I haven't done that in quite some time since the launch. So just wanted to give you the option. You can, of course, whatever shaper you want you can use okay so and then if you want you can have the tassels show or not you know whatever but overall i think this is a super super nice wrap also elegant but also playful and again of course depending on which scarves you use you can also downsize it in in the color impact and also of course in the volume you know so yeah so that is that so let me just turn around so you can see how it looks and of course, if you use a Wendy shaper, for example, then you have a more rounded look in the back. And here you have a more, I don't know, I don't want to call it flat. That doesn't sound right. But uh, th this is what it looks like. You know, this is the feature of the Bobo shaper. This is the char characteristic of the Bobo shaper. Okay, so this is the wrap. I hope you did enjoy this. I think it's a very, very simple wrap because we're using things that we know, which makes sense in our lives, sweeties. Who has time to sit and try to figure out a wrap for like half an hour, right? Nobody has time for that. We need to all go to our resources that we own already and just use what we know and maybe apply it in a different way. I think that makes a lot of sense for all of us because we're all busy moms or running a farm or who knows what. We're all busy. We're not just sitting and like twisting our thumbs, right? So that is what we're doing and I hope you found that helpful. Besides that, of course, I'm going to try to link everything that I used here in the description box down below. Of course, also the contacts for Rapunzel will be there. Also my discount code that I have with Rapunzel, which you can feel free to use. It is affiliated, so I'm going to get a little bit of support uh, if you're using that code. It is Queen Leora and it gives you 5% of your order. Okay, sweeties, this is it. And if you want to use it, then thank you so much for your support and for your love. Also, of course, if you're uploading pictures on social media, please don't forget to tag me. I'm always super curious to see what you guys are doing with the wraps that I'm showing you here. And of course, it kind of feels like, you know, I'm the, the mother hen <laughs> or one of the mother hens. Let's put it that way. And I'm so enjoying to see your journey in all of this. You know, it's, it's amazing. So thank you so much for letting me be part of this. Of course, if you're new here, please feel free to subscribe to my channel. I would absolutely love to have you here. And if you're watching this on the Rapunzel channel, please subscribe to them too, because it's such a nice growing and loving co community. It's just amazing to be part of this. Okay, sweeties. So I'm going to see you here super soon for my next video. And up until then, definitely go ahead and sparkle. Hugs and kisses. Bye.